Good morning guys. So it's about 8 in the morning now and today I have a day packed with studying and so follow me along on this 10 hour study with me and hopefully this helps to motivate some of you guys as well. So for breakfast, I'm having these Portuguese egg tarts, which were made a couple of days back, but they're really yummy. So I'm gonna have this for breakfast. I'm gonna have some coffee as well. lockdown I think the thing which I've been working on subconsciously is baking so the other day um, I had to go and making these like Japanese style bread papa cream puffs comment down below if there's anything that you guys think I should try and bake alright guys so um, I've actually got to work through a couple of things now um, before I jump on a seminar in about an hour's time. So today's topic is all about health justice. And so health justice is about legal ways of dealing with social issues such as employment, housing, um, and immigration. And as you can imagine, if you are someone from maybe a low income background and you are dealing with these social issues, you might not know where to go. From a clinical and medical standpoint, you can try and help this, is you can try from a GP, possibly help to guide these patients towards the right people so that they can have legal advice. These issues often cause a lot of stress and cause a lot of burden onto these patients and problems itself can cause conditions and illnesses within this population as well. So addressing this really helps to address some of the health inequalities that are seen as well. So I've got a couple of things to work through, like this PDF, a couple of PowerPoints, and a video recording as well. So I'm gonna jump on that and then I'll jump onto my seminar in a little bit. When I wake up, it's you that I think of is true. It's so obvious, but I'm holding back because you don't want me like I want you. You don't feel me like I feel you. Oh no. And I must confess that you don't touch me like I touch you. Never blush, baby, when I kiss you. But you don't. And I must confess that I wish I'd find someone new. So I've moved back to the bed now uh, for this seminar because I think this is quite a chill session. It's a Q&A, so I wanted to be in a bit more of a comfortable space. I don't recommend working in your bed for like long hours, uh, but this is an exception. What about those people who don't even get to the GP and you are so right. So I'm talking about access to justice for the hardest to help. We're talking about people who actually make it into GP surgery, but as you will know. So that was a pretty chill but interesting Q&A. So my next rotation after my GP rotation is actually with pediatrics, which I'm super excited about because I want to be a pediatrician in the future or at least be involved in pediatrics in some way. To kind of prep my brain a little bit, what I like to do is I like to do a bunch of practice questions before I start the rotation. And at this point, it's not about trying to shove a bunch of information into my brain. It's trying to expose my brain to some of the information so I can work out what I already you know which at this point is probably not going to be much and also then what I don't know which is probably going to be everything but that way it's easier to kind of guide my way through the stuff as I go through the rotation also I found a bunch of really good lo-fi study playlists which I'll add in the description box below I found some Disney one and some like sort of like Japanese jazz ones which I'm really enjoying so I hope you guys enjoy them too on the past park, but we're in this place because you don't want me like I want you you don't feel me like I feel you oh no and I must confess that you don't touch me like I touch you never blush me when I kiss you you don't and I must Alright guys, 
guys. So I bashed you a bunch of questions and typed up a bunch of notes for my next pediatric rotation. And if you guys want to see how I organize my notes on Notion for med school, then comment down below for that video. Also, a quick little story about babies from my GP rotation. So the other week I was asked to do a newborn examination on an eight week old baby. And this basically involves looking at things like the baby's head, uh, its eyes, its ears, listening to its heart, its lungs, you know, feeling the tummy, checking the hips, and checking their reflexes. And one of these reflexes is called the suckling reflex. And you test this by gently putting in one of your pinkies into the baby's mouth and the baby will suck on it like as if it was sucking for milk. And it's just so cute working with babies. There's just something about looking after and caring for babies and just looking at them, which makes you feel really happy. But all right, enough baby talk, it's time for lunch. And today I'm heating up some uh, kimchi jjigae and some rice. I recently binged a couple of Korean dramas. So over uh, Christmas and New Year's, I was watching Startup and I love that drama. And I'm watching an old one, Descends of the Sun now. So I think that's kind of made me crave Korean food a bit. So, let's eat. Alright guys, so I'm, I'm done with my lunch break now. It's about 2 p.m. And I've made myself a nice cup of tea, green tea to be exact, to keep myself energized throughout the rest of the day. I'm gonna be working on some new assembly prep, and then I'm also gonna work on the chronic care essay I have to do for my GP rotation. To kick it all off, I wanna do some videos on new assembly RX on ophthalmology, which is basically looking at the eye. So the way that I'm trying to approach everything so far so that I don't really burn out in terms of preparing for USMLE and also studying for my, uh, you know, my own medical school stuff is I like to try and review the content which I'm doing currently in the year for my UK stuff and review the US content which is on that similar stuff because it's quite similar. And that way I can mix it up with the stuff that's only found in the USMLE stuff like microbiology, uh, public health and things like that. That way I'm still reviewing things that I learned recently. So I had my ophthalmology rotation in term one, and I'm reviewing that content which helps to strengthen the knowledge on it there and I'm also trying to learn new information but in chunks. So that took longer than I thought, but I'm done with the ophthalmology section that I was working on. I'm going to attempt some Anki cards from the legendary deck of An King, and I'm going to be working on the respiratory section just to kind of refresh my mind on some of that content and to try to keep that long-term memory by using space repetition and active recall. I would not advise doing flashcards in Anki until you kind of have a basic understanding of the concept. Anki isn't a way of necessarily learning the content, it's more so a way of making sure that content sticks. But all right, here we go. So finally, the last thing I have to do before I have some dinner in about an hour's time is work on my chronic care essay for my GP rotation. So it's nice to kind of step away from doing all the multiple choice questions uh, that we usually do in medical school and to actually get back into some writing. So for my essay, I'm writing about a patient who I got the pleasure of speaking with um, and this patient is living with multiple chronic conditions. And so this whole project was just to kind of see how people were dealing with their chronic illnesses during a COVID pandemic. It's easy to follow into a trap of you know just learning these conditions and you know just looking at things just like as numbers and statistics without actually trying to look at the human side of things but it's really important to remember that when we're caring for these people that they're human beings too so all their other needs are just as important if you guys want some tips on how to write better essays then check out the video i posted last week <laughs> Alright, 
so it's finally dinner time and for tonight's dinner I'm gonna be making some pho. I'm not gonna make this stuff from scratch uh, The reason I wanted to have this is because I went to Chinatown and I picked up this pho soup base which makes like 20 bowls of soup so I just wanted to have a go at making this because you know that I don't have the time to be cooking down bones for like 12 hours so for the pho the things I'm gonna be putting in it are we have some noodles onion the soup base um, this is like the dipping sauce they have I should have bean sprouts but I unfortunately ate them all and some coriander but it's fine then we have some pho uh, well not some pho some beef ah yeah some beef and also this like, what is this? It's like a meatball kind of thing. GOB. I don't know what this is. I feel like I just butchered it. I'm so sorry to all the vets watching. But yeah, so this is gonna be my dinner. All right, so this is the final product. I know it's not the most authentic thing, but I tried. Um, hopefully it tastes good. I have a dipping sauce over here and I have a small little salad over there. So yeah, let's dig in. So I relocated into my bedroom, as you can see. I like to try and change up my sort of work environment as the day goes on because I feel like it kind of keeps things interesting, keeps you going during the day. I've decided to kind of improve the vibes a little bit. So I have that lamp, which I bought at Ikea on, and I have a humidifier, which my flatmate got me, which is pumping lavender essential oils into my nostrils. And the last few things I want to work on are some psychiatry questions because I did psychiatry in my first term rotation, uh, and it's good to kind of review that content. And the second thing I want to do is I want to go over some of the OSCE videos by Geeky Medics. I think one of the things which has been quite difficult because of the whole pandemic and the lockdown is being able to practice OSCE uh, with your classmates, with your friends and things like that. Um, so I just want to review some of these videos to keep the examinations and the other things like that fresh in my head. We have two hours left for this 10 hour study with me. Let's go. All right guys, I had to bring back the fork mic. I think that's a signature thing on this channel now. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up my 10 hour study with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it motivated some of you guys as well. I'm now pretty tired and I'm just going to chill out, watch a few things on my computer and until I have to go to bed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.